will stick with you a little longer. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. The right fielder, number four, Lou Gehrig. So now to the plate, Lou Gehrig. Oh, he makes the stop. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One left for the Yankees. Our score remains two to one. All set for the start of the fourth. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Now the 2 1 pitch. Will not catch the zone, ball three. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to the begin stands at number, number four. And that's what you Three. want from your leadoff hitter. Three. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Now in the box, Corey Lee. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch, and he fouls this one off. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a two-run shot to left center. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Astros have taken a 4-1 to lead. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league. And rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off speed pitch and drove it right out of the yard. In now, Craig Biggio. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Mantle's on the move, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. He's set. Here's the three and two. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball base, season. Number five. Bottom line is this guy yeah. has bat-to-ball skills. Well. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Into the box, Jeff Bagwell. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Four runs, eight hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. 
Now batting left fielder Jordan Alvarez. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 1 home. Whoa. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2-1. Two, 2-2 two and two the count. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Three and two now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Runners are at first and second with one away. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. At the plate now, Carlos Correa. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. A dive, and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. One more look at the full extension catch that strands two men on the base pass. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Stepping into the box, Mickey Mantle. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning Outside, started. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. The pitch. Aye. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Two, two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Back goes Springer. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The batter, the third baseman, Eddie. Stepping Matthews. up to the plate, Eddie Matthews. One for one after a single his first time up. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Not nope. close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. High in the air out to center field. Marte is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting first baseman John Mattingly. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth and up steps Don Mattingly. Two out nobody on. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. 
the one two is looked at for ball number two. This one misses and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And another foul ball. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning one two three Alvarez has it and the inning is over one two three go the Bombers they trail it four to one Your Hal Newhouser a six foot now two inch left hander jogs in to take over on the hill number 16 Hal. Newhouser. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Cattell Marte. Here now the 2 2. Full count. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on 2 and 2. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Got him. The right fielder, number 10, George Springer. Now to the plate, George Springer. He went down on strikes last time up. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. George now Springer back. goes down for out through. number two in Kyle the top half. Seeger. to the plate now Kyle Seeger one and two now is that one's fouled off fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one and it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen Four runs, eight hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a three-two pitch. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. But they lead it four to one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Robinson Cano. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2 is swung on and missed strike three. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job the there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for Go. some guys to overcome when Sorry. teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle.
at the plate, Joe Torrey. Nope. Inside and low, two and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Weak grounder back to the mound. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. The batter, number double zero. Shortstop, Honest Wagner. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Honest Wagner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2-2. Two -two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Biggio is there to make the play for route number three. So the Yanks go one, two, three. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. New inning set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Corey Lee. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty V, a two-strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best in the league. We'll see if he tries that different approach this time. And maybe if he gets to two strikes, try to use the fastball a little bit more than that straight changeup. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Ground ball left side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate, Craig Vigio. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center the 396th of his career as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys who would just draw walks and steal bases? But that's not the case anymore. Guys like this, they have pop on their bat, and they can go deep. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3 1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Digging in, Jeff Bagwell. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this A.B. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. A double play ball to second. Four, six. Out. Three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Astros five, and the Yankees one. Ready now, Mini Minoso. He's set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. A 
Another full count pitch home. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the set. The designated hitter, number nine. Ten. Here comes the Astro skipper up out of the Houston dugout. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he winds up going just five plus innings, but he was mostly effective as he will be in line for the victory should the lead hold up. Your Josh James lead. takes over on the now mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 39. Ted Williams will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. One two pitch is laid off for ball two. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted now it back. nicely right down field. around the bottom of the zone. Ooh. And when you do that, especially yeah, with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back easily. And another throw yeah, over, good. keeping particularly close tabs on him. Runners on first with one down. Standing in now, Lou Gehrig. Well, that's off. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And this is popped up near second base. Correa takes charge and he's got it. Two down. The center fielder, number seven, Mickey Mantle. Now at the plate, Mickey Mantle. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He the just bat. missed. And the now the inning man. continues with Eddie. the man in scoring position. Matthew. Ready for another chance. Eddie Matthews. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. Starts to go around but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. 
Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Two down, runners at first and second. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Well, the tying run looms on deck, so keeping this guy off the base is essential. In danger of walking him right here, though. Squared that one up just a little late. Three, two, one more time. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They're down here five to one. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Jordan Alvarez. Now the three and two pitch. Belted and take a look at this deep to right center field and it's gone. Solo shot to right center number 23 for him thus far and it's now a six to one ball game. Long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Yankees, number 45, Garrett. Go! Garrett Cole comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Now batting Carlos Correa his career line against Garrett Cole. He's only two for ten. He also has one home run. Rounded down the third baseline. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The center fielder, number four, Patel Marquez. Digging in, Patel Marte. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, North of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 3 1. And he loses him on a breaking ball. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch the a right pitch field, like that go 10. by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Striding in once again, George Springer. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. 
and when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Runner, runner, he's Runners going. off for second. Pitch is oh, high. Oh. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Clearly, they're not satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. You don't want to disrespect your opponent and do that in a blowout game, but I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead, and now they've got a chance to add on to it. One out and a runner on second base. And he misses oh, again. It. Ball that's four, good. and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Man, the now pitcher's bad. wondering Those how he people. didn't get that call. Kyle. Busted him inside mm -hmm. on a 3-1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. A hit in two tries for him so far. Payoff pitch on its way. And that misses. Ball four, and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. The catcher, number 35, Corey. In now, Lee. Corey Lee. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. One one. Two ball, one strike. Ah, this could be trouble now. It's three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Line hard to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And the run is in to score from second. It's an 8-1 to one ball game. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this now far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing Red. side of it. Even as Good broadcasters, deal. it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Your Chris Sale please. comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better results than the game. other arms that they've run Number out there 49. in this one. Rick. Dale. Into the box now, Craig Biggio. And he misses two and one. Three runs already home here. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone. Two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. From the stretch. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Seeger rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Obviously, they got oh, a little yeah. over aggressive there. But when you've favorite. got the lead like this, okay. you can afford to oh, do that favorite. a little more. We'll see if that lost run ends up being a factor at all. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning, Matt. A hit here could really fire up that dugout. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. 
Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Two men are on with two men out. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. The batter, the first baseman, Jeff. At the Bagwell. plate, Jeff Bagwell. He's one for four for the game. Here's the one one. Mm, right down the shoot that time. One and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Ready on one and two. That's ball two. And that misses two and two. Fouled off. Bases are loaded here, two down. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. One run scores. Oh, but that'll be shy of the monuments as it hits off the wall. So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Number 36 on the year for him as they just continue to pour it on here. In now, Jordan Alvarez. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the Ladies side. But a big Jordan, inning here is seven runs across the plate, and this threat. lead grows even wider. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Houston leads this one 12 to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Don Mattingly. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Pitch on the way inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes now the Astros are going to get a left hander up and cranking out in the bullpen here now the 2 2 doesn't get the zone count full now neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue Payoff pitch one more time. Fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint the than batter. watching that high fastball, the a high piece of cheese Robinson. swung at and missed. Cut. That pitch oh. looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. At the plate now, Robinson Cano sent in the air out to straightaway central. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. The throw is wild, and it gets away. 
You know, D-Row, there's been some that great catcher, pitching in this one so far oh. after that knock. That's only oh, the third hey. hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Stepping in now, Joe Torre popped him up. Biggio ranging into shallow right. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The batter, number double zero. Shortstop, Honnett Wagner. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Hannes Wagner. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. The Yanks leave one. They're looking up at a 12 to one deficit. Ready to begin the eighth and ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. One one home misses ball two with this one almost in the books the story was clearly the long ball what are your thoughts on this offense fellas well Matty V I don't know what your thoughts are D roll but boy when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches yeah just great approach no one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first down. Now batting the center fielder, Patel Marquez. Your Cy Young please. enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the hand. deficit right where it is. Number zero, Cy Young. Riding in, Cattell Marte. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1 1. Ah. One ball, two strikes, Cattell. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove right on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch Lord. your lips right there, Dan. Lord. Sent it back right where it came from. At the plate, George Springer. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Right to him. And he won't even try it at second as he flips to the pitcher covering to get the shoe out. Now batter. Third baseman. Kyle. 
Fiege. Ready once again, Kyle Seeger. It was a walk in his last trip. The one two. Well, I got to count two and two. Two out here and a runner at second. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. I got three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Full count, here it comes. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. The catcher, number 35, Corey Lee. Into the box now, Corey Lee coming off the clutch two-run single his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And here's one that misses to the Houston catcher. It's 2-1 and one now. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Two left for the Astros, but don't shed a tear. They're up 12 to 1. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mini Minoso. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Misses above the zone for a ball. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his eyes lit up at the plate. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. A 2-2 two and two count. Here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips That's one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last yeah. minute. It's so hard to pick up, Will and it's yeah. even harder to make good contact with. So now to the play, Ted Williams. Two and one oh, to Ted Williams now. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw gets him, two down. The right fielder, number four, Lou Gehrig. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Lou Gehrig. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Ooh. 
Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're looking up at a 12 to 1 deficit. All set to start the ninth in this one, and set to go is the second baseman, Craig Biggio. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Nope. Outside. So you'd love for him to offer at that one. But the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full Jose Altuve waits on deck now the three and two pitch popped up Mattingly is there he's got it one away now batter the designated hitter Jose Altuve. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jose Altuve. He's two for three and looking for more here. One out, nobody on. Aye. Called a strike and it's full three and two. Payoff pitch home. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with the that. I mean, base. it's better to battle yeah. a slugger like that to the that end and well. end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Ready for another shot now. Jeff Bagwell is looking for his third hit of the ball game here. As a look, now the pitch. Eight, two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout oh, situations the these days. What makes it so, so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough Alvarez. pitch is they're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. To the plate now, Jordan Alvarez. Popped up. Mattingly waits on it. And that ends the inning. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. The Astros on top, 12 to 1. Digging in to try it again. Mickey Mantle starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Three and one. Three and one. Eddie Matthews is on deck. Here's the three one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Alvarez is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Now batting, third baseman, Eddie Matthews. Digging in now for the Yankees, Eddie Matthews. He's working on a one for three thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. 
Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right hander has started to warm up out there. The three one. Too high, and that cost him ball four. The first baseman, number 23, John. Don Mattingly will bat next. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit hard to short. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. So he waited now till the ninth that. inning, but he comes it. through here to extend Robert the hit streak. That was close. Condo. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that Ladies batter's box thinking, you're I have a nice please. streak going, and this is more now than likely going to be my last throw. AB. He comes Number through in the clutch. Six. Brian Abreu Brian. enters from the bullpen, Abreu. hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. In now, Robinson Cano just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other that way to say it. Nine. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, Go. and when they've had them, like Go right three. now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Last chance for the Yankees. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. If you want to know what this game was decided, that's easy. Look no further than the seventh inning. That big rally and the crooked number on the scoreboard proved to be all the difference. 12 to 1 at the end of this one. The Astros played in an even dozen runs to come out on top today. Lance McCullers earned his ninth win of the year as he gives up only two hits in five innings of work. Babe Ruth was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.